Hey, welcome back to OZFX. And today I want to show you the one click trade pro tool for MetaTrader 4. And it's a tool that I use every single day in my trading. I don't have it up right now because I had to delete it off of my MetaTrader 4 because I want to show you how to get this onto your computer. And I want to show you how you can use this as well. So first things first, you have to have one of the, you have to come up here and you have to register for the MQL5 community. I'm already logged in. So this is the one thing that you're going to have to do on, um, on your own time without a representation done by me, but it's easy enough. You just put in like an email and a password and go from there. But after that, what you're going to do is it's, it's really easy. You just come down here to market. And this is why you have to fill out or make that. Uh, this is why you have to come up here and register for an MQL5 account first, because you have to have something to buy with down here. The tool that we are about to, to download is free, but there's stuff on here that you can buy as well. So what, all you got to do is come in here and you search one click trade pro enter that searches for it. If you want, you can pull this up and then see right here it is. This is what you want it to look like. You go through here. You can read all this if you want, but what you want to do is you want to press download. And it downloads. And you don't need this. Just press open, right? And it comes right over here into your, into your navigator. Now, once you have it, I want to show you how you use it. First, what you're going to want to do is you want to come over here and you're going to want to look under expert advisors in your navigator tab. And if you don't have this navigator tab, all you're going to want to do is you want to come up to here. Which one is it? It's this one. You want to make sure that you have this clicked on. Okay. <clears throat> but to, to be able to use one click trade pro, you got to enable it on every single chart that you pull up. So right here, it's not on this chart yet. What you got to do is you got to come over here to your navigator and you just drag it over onto this chart and this little box will come up. And what you want to do is you want to make sure allow live trading is on and you want to allow DLL imports. That's all you want to do. And then you press OK. OK, and I'll see it pops up right here with this little dinosaur looking box. All right. And what's cool about this tool is that it just makes entering trades so much easier. And where you should start first with this every single time is you come over all the way over here. This is the options panel. You click on it. And as you can see here, you could take a screenshot. I don't know why I don't. There's only one thing that I mess with on here, and it's this risk percentage. And right here, you can see it's at 2%. I typically risk point. 5%. So you would put, I would put in 0.5 of my balance. As you can see right here, it's your balance. And then you have to make sure that you press save. Okay. Press save. And then let's just go through this. This is your current orders panel. This is going to show all the orders that I have. I don't really ever use this. And then right here, this is what I love about this tool right here is the order with lines. Okay. So, um, Sometimes people get confused with the comparison of TradingView and MetaTrader 4 and their brokers, different data feeds, because there's different numbers, but the charts will look somewhat the same or exactly the same, but the numbers will be different, right? And that'll throw people off. So what I like to tell people is One Click Trade Pro, like if you know what area you're looking for on a chart, you shouldn't need to know the exact number. You should be able to come and look at it right here. Like right here, I can tell that I, this is a, this is an order block right here that Euro USD is in right now. And you could potentially look for buys from this right here. <clears throat> right. And now this number could different, could be different from the number on trading view and it might mess with you. Okay. So what you do with this is you got your buy here, like what kind of uh, order it is. You can press buy or you can have it on sell. And you can also have it buy by the market. You can have a buy stop or you can have a buy limit. <clears throat> I normally use limits. It's actually the weekend right now and the market isn't open. So it's not going to allow me to place any trades at all. But we're going to go through this as if you as if you were. So we're going to pretend that we're, we're putting in. Let's just pretend we're putting in a sell limit. OK, just for sake of representation. And we're going to say that we're going to sell from up in here somewhere. 
or even over here. Let's just say we're going to sell from over here. Okay. So what you want to do is you here is the open price and you want to click on this. Now I can, yeah, see, you want to click on this, press open price. And now over here, a little gray line pops up and you want to double click that until this little box over here shows up. All right. What you want to do that, what that's going to do is it's going to make you able to drag this around, right? So instead of knowing what number I want to put it at, all I got to do is put it right here at the bottom of this institutional candle. <clears throat> and that's where my entry is going to be, right? I don't got to know the number. It actually tells me the number right there. And then next would be the stop loss price. You just click on that, brings you up a red line. You double click it, drag it up right above that high right there. See, it's already telling me my loss and that I haven't calculated anything yet. I haven't pressed anything for it to calculate yet. And then your take profit price. Okay, so we'll just say we're gonna aim for right here or something, right? And now this is the best part about this tool right here is right here, the recommended size. It, it configures your risk for you. This is where that 0.5 risk that I put in earlier comes into play. All I got to do is click this and it automatically changed this to risking $54, only half of my account, not half of my account, only 0.5% of my account. And now if the market was open, I would be able to press submit. As you can see, the market is closed. <clears throat> but if it was open, I would press submit and it would just automatically submit my, my, my sell limit and I would be good to go. There's some other things that you can do with this, like pending order by distance. I have never used this. I don't know why anybody would really want to use this, but it's there if you want it. And then this will tell you what the spread is at all times. And this is just going to let you put in your, 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 your order by the numbers on here, which I don't know why you would do that. In my opinion, the best part about this entire expert advisor is this right here configuring your risk, and then ordering with lines. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today.